Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And welcome to another episode of Fix Your Wix, the series where we take one of your websites and we redesign the homepage for fun and educational purposes. I'm so happy to bring this series back because it's always been one of my favorite series to have here on the channel. So I'm really happy to bring this series back. And if you guys want to participate in this series for your own website, there's actually going to be a link in the description to a form that you can fill out and we'll be in touch. For today's episode, we're going to be redesigning the homepage for a nonprofit organization that provides healthcare for the homeless in Los Angeles. So I think it's a really cool organization and I'm excited to show you guys the redesigned website. Now, I apologize for this intro being kind of long, but I do want to mention one more thing before we get started. This organization actually booked a consultation with me and we have already gone through and redesigned the homepage. So with this video, you're kind of just going to be able to see how we redesigned it and my thought process for the final product. And also, if you would like to book a meeting with me, if you're needing specific help with design or setup on your own website, I'll have another link in the description so you can actually book a meeting with me. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So. The first thing that I would like to kind of fix is this hero section and this header. So as you can see right now, the header is kind of, it feels a little squished and all the content down here is kind of a little bit wider. So I kind of want to fix that. So what I want to do first is I'm going to drag out all of the content here onto the strip. Then I'm actually going to change the strip background to have no color, just like that. Then we're gonna to go to layout and we're gonna add three columns. So we're gonna add a column, we're gonna to go to manage columns and we're gonna add another column. Now I'm gonna come back over to layout and I kind of want there to be something like 20, 20, 60, something like that. That way we have one that's a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna click this third column. I'm gonna press manage columns and I'm gonna send this third column to the middle. Perfect. So now for this middle, I want to put the menu in here. For this left column, I want to add the logo. And for this right column, we're gonna add this donate button. So that already makes the website a lot wider and look a lot cleaner. And another thing that we did for the live site is we actually changed the red to kind of a green. So we're gonna come over to this button. And how I designed it was I made the button white with green text. So it actually looked like that and I think that looks really really good like that the next thing I would actually like to do before we move forward is I'm gonna come over to site design and we're gonna change the page background to a different color and since we're using green as the accent color we actually chose a nice dark green for the background and you can kind of see it up here it is almost black but as we start adding more green elements here to the page the green will really start to flow together and look really clean. The next thing I want to do for this website is work on the hero section. So we're going to be using this image here, but we're going to make it a quite a bit taller. So we're going to make this maybe like 900 pixels and let's go ahead and move it behind the header just like that. Then I'm going to change the strip background. We're going to change the background color to our dark green and we're going to lower the opacity to something like maybe eight. I think that looks really good. Then I'm going to press layout and align this to the right. So now we can put content over here and the content that I want to put is going to be some text. We'll just pull this out right here. Let's line it up with the left side of the logo and let's go ahead and change the text. So I'm just going to paste in the text that we have from the website and then I'm going to make it white and I'll make the size like 120 pixels. Maybe we can do like 90 pixels. I think that looks good. And we'll also come in here. We'll go into the settings for this text. We'll go to line spacing. We'll do customize and we'll just lower, bring this down just a little bit. Something to about like 1.2 I think looks really good. The next thing I want to do is add some more text. So let's add this heading six. We're gonna align it to the left, left side of all this content. And what we're gonna do is basically take each one of these and link. So programs, trainings, and who we help. So this one's gonna be programs. We're gonna make this our green color here. 
And we're also going to underline it because this one is going to be linked to other parts of pages or other pages altogether. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to bring this one right here. And this one is going to be trainings. And we'll do this one more time. And this one's going to say who we help. So I think that looks really good like that. And I'm just going to grab all three of these, group these, and bring them up just a little bit. And the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to grab this donate button. We're going to paste it down here. Let's put it right underneath this area right here, but align it with the content. Make it a little bit bigger and we'll say make a donation. And we'll just bring this down just a little bit. We'll grab all of these elements and we'll group them together. So there we have the new hero section. And we can, if we notice here, we actually already have a scroll effect here, but we're gonna come into the settings and just make sure it is centered just like that. Great, now we can start working on the other sections. So what I'm gonna do is bring this down. We're gonna separate each of these into their own sections. So what we're gonna do is add a new strip to the website. Let's bring it down like 100 pixels. We'll make it kind of large. So we'll bring it down to 600 pixels. Let's go into the settings and remove the background color. Let's add a column. We'll go into layout and we'll kind of adjust this to maybe like 60, 40. In this left column, let's add an image. Great. Then let's go into the image settings and we'll lower the opacity to maybe like 30%. And let's also add a parallax effect to this one as well. Over here in the right column, what I'm gonna do is just copy this content. I'm gonna paste it here in this section. We'll make sure it's centered. For this text right here, I like the way that this looks. For this paragraph text, maybe we can choose like a a gray color, something like that. And then for this button, we can choose the style of button that we've already designed. And I think that looks really good. Now let's go ahead and bring this content down again. Let's go ahead and grab this strip and we'll copy and paste it. And we'll bring it down 100 pixels. Let's go ahead and click on the strip. We're gonna press manage columns. And we're gonna basically move this one to the right to kind of flip them. And let's go ahead and change this image. And once again, with this image, we're gonna lower the opacity to like 30%. And now let's go ahead and grab this text here. So we'll grab training and education. We'll replace that text here. And we'll grab this text as well. And we'll replace it here as well. Perfect. So now we can grab each of these content, press group, and then we can go ahead and center this content just like that. So now we are done with this strip right here. So we'll go ahead and delete this one since we already have that content on the page. We'll bring this one down a little bit. Let's copy this top section again because it has the layout that we want. And we're just going to bring this down below this one right here. And what we're going to do is move it down 100 pixels. So we want this to be at 2400. And let's just follow the same steps. We're going to change the image. Then we'll lower the opacity to 30%. And we'll grab this text here and replace it up here. Okay, we'll grab the group and we'll make sure it's centered. The last section that we're going to have on this page is going to be a support section. So let's go ahead and bring this down quite a bit. We're going to add a new strip to the page. We'll set this at 3100 to give it a 100 pixel gap here. Let's make this like 800 pixels in height. And let's go ahead and change the background to an image. And just like before, let's go into the settings We'll make the background color this dark green and we'll lower the opacity for this one. Let's add a little bit of parallax to it. And I think that looks really good. Now let's go ahead and grab this text here. We'll pull it up into the strip. For this text right here, we'll go ahead and center the text and we'll make it like 120 pixels in size and we'll expand it. Then with this button here, let's go ahead and make it a little bit wider We'll change the text to make a donation. Then we'll go into the design and we'll switch it over to our other style. We'll make sure it is centered. We'll grab both of these, we'll group them together. And let's go ahead and set this to be 800 pixels again. And we'll just go ahead and center this up here in the section. Perfect. So now we are done with this section here as well. And the only thing left here is the footer but we didn't end up touching the footer. 
So we're not gonna do that here in this video either. But if we just go ahead and take a look, here is the brand new Homeless Healthcare Los Angeles website, and it looks really, really clean. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fix Your Wix. Again, if you would like to participate in this series, then be sure to click the little link in the description that links to the form that you can fill out and apply for the series. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.